five in store for you tonight here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. What a playoff series this has been so far. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Quick feed to Calvis. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puck picked up by Rocco. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Fired up to start the game, get everyone in it. Instead, you're on your heels. You're taking a two-minute minor. The Mavericks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Gains the zone from the right side. Sends the feet in front. And that doesn't connect. The Mavericks scoop it up along the boards. Quick shot. Oh, my paddle save on the play. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Just ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Kansas City's got the puck inside the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Scrum along the wall. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires, and we are still tied here. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up, but you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Tulsa's got it, and they're on the attack. Morris freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. The Mavericks win the draw here in their own end. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. And he was ready for that one. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Hayhurst won it in their own end. Feeds the puck over to Nackball. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Pass at center. Cobb's going to play it against the half wall. And he turned that one aside. Moves into the slot. Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Chance of the night here on the man advantage. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you when you score first, chances are you win the game. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Makes the save. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Oh, trying to gain a step. job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage and he finds a way to break away from the pack he's in on the breakaway James and what a battle it is it's one that he wins and he drives the puck home 
Kansas City's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. But they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded. Goes the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching just thinking that puck was going to go straight through but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays it doesn't shatter it just simply spiders nonetheless it has to be replaced all the officials were all over that trip whistle stops the play when you're down a goal you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed they're gonna have to be opportunistic find a way to kill it off and then reset the momentum should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Matsushima's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Tulsa's got the win off that draw. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. In close! Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Power play strikes James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Kansas City's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Tulsa's won it. Puck scooped up by Constantini. Takes the dish. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. I love the one 3 one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Nakbar's loving the puck. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Nakbar. Gets it out of his own end. Works it across to Koski. Great defensive effort with the stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Oilers have it now. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Power play has expired. Well, there's players on the bench that would kill for that opportunity. Just no urgency whatsoever from that power play unit and didn't generate any momentum. Brinkovic has got it in the offensive zone. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The Oilers are showing some life here in the back half of the first, and Cheryl, they got one back here. Well, and at a critical time here, the remainder of the first period at bay, this is a team that now has some confidence as they shorten the gap within one. And off the draw, they kick the puck. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Clad save. He's on it tonight. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the back half of this period, the Oilers have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. 
Sends a pass over. Denies him with the save. He grounds the puck here at the point. Duquette's got it in the defensive end. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Constantini. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Scores! And look who's at it again! Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. But the shooter shows good patience on this shot, James, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does, and he drops into that butterfly position, there's enough firm upstairs to be able to beat him. The Mavericks look to be on a mission tonight, already up by two here, and we're still only in the first. Well, the mission is possible because they've been dominant out there tonight, James. They've been relentless. They competed for pucks, loose pucks at will. I mean, they've outbattled their opponent, and now they're sitting with a two-goal cushion. And that play's broken up. Jackson's got it along the way. Denies him in close. Goaltender's very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out taking away any of the net. Angles it over to Patriot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes a shot. Got eyes on the play. They are really dialed in here tonight. Tremendous work on the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Takes a shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. They put the puck into the offensive end. Jones works the puck in his own zone. Sits it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Mavericks lead it here late in this first period. Butchers won the draw deep in the defensive zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And he shuts the door on that. They fight for it along the boards. Slides the puck across to Koski. Kansas City's gained the line and into the zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And the puck's kicked free. Picked up along the boards by Butcher. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he takes the pass. The Mavericks take it along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. And now he moves it quickly to Hayhurst. Let's it go. Well, there's the horn period number one but this one is far from over lots more action to go second period is just around the corner in front of him and created a ton of scoring chances, a reason why they have a healthy lead. Sends one across, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Morris freezes the puck, and we'll get a face-off coming up. Well, he hasn't been busy all night, but just a real good decision there to just jump on and gobble that puck up. Kansas City's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. Tulsa's won the draw. Let's see what the officials are calling. Koski's getting called for tripping.
Tulsa's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play chance right here and an opportunity to redeem themselves after that shorty they gave up earlier. That goes wide. The Mavericks gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass. He scores! And there it is! The power play goal lights the lamp. Well, let's have another look on the replay here, James. I thought that he had the post covered, but he clearly did not. There was just enough room to slide that puck in the inside post. The Oilers needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Jones. Handles the pass. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Jones carries the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And that goes off course off a of body. Moves it to Krinkovic. Now a quick pass to Lodge. McKee swooping in on the attack. The Mavericks take it along the wall. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Great save from in tight. Moves it quickly over to Carr. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, great save by Morris. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. And he comes up with it. And there's the whistle. Penalty coming up here. The Mavericks run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. And it goes right off his bucket. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Mavericks are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. Poked away in the defensive end. Makes it look easy. Great positioning with the pad save. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! He does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. The Mavericks win the faceoff. Takes it up center. There's a firm collision. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. 
This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Mavericks have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Tulsa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Oh, and there's a great save by Morris. There was a big time hit in the corner on him there. The Mavericks take it across the line. Hard hit frees up the puck. And he takes the feed. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Mavericks have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Tulsa's won the draw. Slick feed. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Slides the puck down low. Quick shot. And that goes off a of body. McLaughlin's got the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Makes his presence known on the ice. Centering pass! And he couldn't handle the pass as he was knocked off target. Let's get the call. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play his strength. Kansas City's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Mavericks will play it from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Hayhurst. Costantini's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here's a short pass to Locke. Of it to keep it out of the net. Let's see what the official says here. The Mavericks have been handed a two minute penalty for tripping. They'll play some four on four. A few ways to play a four on four you can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Takes the feet at the back end. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Morris has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Past the midway mark in this period. Kansas City's clinging to this 4-3 lead. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Save James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot. Get in front of it and making the save. Tulsa's going to hold him against the wall. Jones takes the puck. Keeps possession. Nice job to escape the zone. Hayhurst's hey, penalty is almost expired. The Mavericks maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. Denies him in front. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. Quick pass across to Falk. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. There's a chance to cross! Officials caught it. Here comes the call. Late in the period in a close game, a top penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. 
Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Kansas City's got control of it now from their own end. And he takes the feed. Puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Matsushima. Quick pass to Koski. Fires it. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it to Hayhurst. There he is from the slot. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Now's your chance to play green. Draw your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us in the campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. so much on their reaction time and man this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save lots of time left in this period the Mavericks have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight they lead it 4-3 zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it moves it quickly over to Cod. here they come on the attack down the left side find some space in the corner scores and we Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Everyone is so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Fires it! Save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Puts it in deep. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Constantini. Puts it on net. Big blocker stopped by Morris. Quick feed to Nakbar. Gain momentum up along the side. Great reach with the poke check by Boudria. Tulsa's got it in their own zone. And that's broken up. Here's a short pass to Koski. Pokes the puck away. Kansas City's got it along the wall. Takes the puck behind the net. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Gervais has been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Kansas City's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. And that goes off a player. Slides the puck over. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Here he is in front. Keeps it out. Got a piece of it with the trapper. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And skilled use of... He's got a little jump. He 
Rise in the clear. The Rise on the breakaway. The Mavericks have it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Stopped by the goaltender. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Curry's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here's the puck. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. He almost moved the puck in the defensive zone. They gain the zone from the left side. Great heads up play with the stick by Jones. Takes the feed. Looking to set up offensively. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Tries to get it to Matsushima. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Jones. Battle along the wall. Takes control of the puck. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Handles the puck. Sends the pass over. Tulsa's got the puck in the defensive end. Kansas City's on the attack. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. That knocks him off the puck. The Mavericks are in transition. Kansas City's got the puck against the half wall. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Tulsa's won the face off deep in their own end. Carroll stick handling in his own zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Mavericks are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coaches got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Quick pass to Lodge. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Came up with the save on that play. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Moves it to Tukovic. as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. Let's it fly. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Morris. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. The Oilers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. You know how you change an average PK? You kill the next one, and they did a good job there of getting in shot lanes and getting it 200 feet down the ice. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Grabs the puck. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck. Gets the puck in deep. Feeds it on over to Lodge. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Here's a chance! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Takes the pass. Here's a shot. Glove save. Shot. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Takes a shot. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. And that's just wide of the net. I'm sure he'll want that one back. Well, he certainly will, James, but not a lot of room out there, trying to get it off quickly. And as a result, just misses. Tulsa's moving it into the offensive end. Jostles the puck loose. From the open ice, they gain the line. Cross ice pass to Carr. 
Tulsa's looking to break out. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And he takes the dish. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Looks to make a play over to McKee. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Takes the shot. Oh, a clutch save! Morris makes an incredible athletic save. I mean, he's at the top of his crease. The shooter is in the slot, and he keeps it out of the net. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Moving into the attacking zone. Passes it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Rocks on the play. important. So much pressure when the time and clock is ticking down and you have to have a sense of urgency and they had just that. They score the goal ahead goal and you can see how excited they are. They'll have to keep their emotions in check. They need to close this one out. The others have had more scoring chances and yet they trail late in this third period. Playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby.